What if I told you there's a way to see how many buyers there are and how many sellers there are in a particular stock? So in this video, I'm going to talk exactly about that and how you can take advantage of buyers versus sellers in the markets. It's like you're buying a house in real estate or you're buying a car. The thing is, there's always going to be buyers and sellers. So when there's a place with buyers and sellers, it means that there's opportunities and we need to be able to take advantage of these opportunities. So the theory where it says buy low, sell high, the thing is that buy low, sell high works when there's a bunch of players in the marketplace. So for different stock, there's going to be a lot more liquidity than others. So for example, something like the stock TRA has less liquidity than something like RAK. So RAK has got a lot of liquidity. That means you can chuck maybe $20,000, $30,000 behind that. But with TRA, you can only chuck probably two or 3,000 behind that. So this is why traders can't chuck lots of money behind different stocks. So you have to be careful. So the thing is that when you look at the market depth of a particular stock, you need to be able to ensure that there's a good spread of buyers and sellers. And if there are more buyers and less sellers, this means that the stock has a nice path to new higher. And that's what we're looking for, guys. So we're looking for continuation in the markets. We're not able to short stocks, so we are always looking for that stock that will continue higher. So we can make anywhere from two to 10% return. So when you look at the market depth, what you want to be looking for is number one, you want to be looking for liquidity. So you don't want to be trading a stock that's five or seven cents and there's only like two, three hundred dollars behind that. That means that it's going to be a lot harder to get in and out of the stock. Instead, you want to be looking for stocks that have a good amount of liquidity. So I'm talking about a good spread of buyers and sellers. Next thing what you want to be looking for is you want to be looking for some sort of momentum. So you will sense momentum if you look on the charts and you see that the stock is currently in an uptrend and it shows that there are a lot of buyers on the bid side and usually less sellers on the ask side. Another way to determine if the stock is going to continue higher is if you look on the ask side on market depth, is that being broken? Are those sell walls getting broken every time? So when I say the sell walls are getting broken, what I mean is that the seller's stock needs to be sold. So basically a buyer needs to come and buy out the sellers. So this is the thing about the markets. It's all about buyers versus sellers. If there's more buyers than sellers, the buyers are willing to pay a higher price because sellers are usually selling at higher prices. And this is what drives a stock into an uptrend. So another thing that is quite important is to keep an eye on the sell. So if you can see that 300,000 has gone to, let's say 200, then 100, then 50,000, you know that the sell wall is being broken. So that means that demand is much higher for that particular stock. So that's why it's important to keep an eye on particular levels. When stocks are going to all time highs, yes, that can signal that it's overbought, but at the same time, sometimes momentum can keep driving these stocks higher as people are willing to pay higher prices for these stocks. So if you guys enjoyed this video, please smash the like button down below. I'd appreciate that. Good for the YouTube algorithm. Also subscribe to this channel. Gonna be doing lots of good videos going forward. And check out the website if you haven't already. So www.solodaytrader.com so this has all your material if you want to get started trading in cryptocurrencies or in the NZ market but in the meantime guys happy trading